we haven't even left him since we got him for longer than two hours. He's built this connection with us, so even when he leaves the van, he like always checks to see where we are. If he does go far, he gets to a point and then turns around and comes back. Um, he kind of sticks around the van, and then if, if we walk off to go do something, he'll follow us. We've been contemplating it for the last two years together if we wanted to get a cat. But one day we just decided to do it and now we've got the cat. We just contacted a rescue sanctuary and they had him available. There was only one, so we had no choice. But <laughs> as soon as we met him, we were already super cute. He was yeah. very playful and wanted attention. <laughs> Since the get-go, he just wanted to play and be out there. He just sleeps through absolutely everything. Normally cats are nocturnal. They want to play and do crazy stuff at 3 o'clock in the morning. This guy, he just sleeps from 7 o'clock until 7 o'clock. He sleeps like crazy and then he'll just play the whole day. So once again, adapted to what we do. We live in a small space and in the day, we're outdoors and at night we go to sleep and you know, recuperate. So that's what he does as well. People don't normally see a cat other than in a house, you know, in the normal world, to say. <laughs> We're with the cat every day, you know, so doors are open, doors are closed, he can do whatever he wants. He doesn't really run too far away from the van. If we do get to a campsite and we don't feel entirely comfortable or if there's a lot of like farm dogs around, we'll keep him on the leash for like an hour until we yeah. feel more comfortable and then you'll just wander yeah. around. There's those things about black cats, but he's been very, very cool and he's put quite a lot of luck to us, it seems. Looking back, I think we've made a very good decision. I was scared of getting him in the van and like closing the doors. It's really loud when you slam the door. But the first time I closed the door, he didn't budge at all. He just sleeps through absolutely everything. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, he just explores. Not right now he's just chilling. But before we came in here, he was running outside like crazy. In terms of sleeping, he sleeps with us, mainly in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't lived in a normal house. He only knows this moving van as his home. And since we've got him, we've been moving for the last three months. So every single two or three days, he's in a new location. <laughs>